Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. But today, I am very excited to give a special thanks to Ingi Egger, uh, who supported our Kickstarter and said, Hello, Iceland! But today, we're going to be checking out free parking from Parker Brothers, the Feed the Meter game that's based off of Monopoly. It's for two to four players, ages eight to adults, and it'll probably take about eh, 20 to 30 minutes to play. And in free parking, you are out and about on your daily task, and you're going to try and complete pretty mundane routines like visiting your cousin or with going with your banker paying your taxes going to the doctor uh taking your nephew to the dentist doing all sorts of different tasks in order to get victory points you get 200 victory points but you have to keep track of how many time minutes you have on your parking meter which is actually this cool little spinning doodad it is a spin-off of monopoly is it better is it worse is it different is it good let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think all right then we're gonna take a look at which and get inside of free parking so first and foremost we have a handy dandy rule sheet which is one really long sheet and it's okay it definitely could be better and honestly you know what with how simple this game is i'm gonna say this is a poor rule sheet uh there's just a couple things that they don't quite explain or go over like it says it says draw a card from the tray on your turn when in actuality you're supposed to draw up to six cards it also doesn't tell you if you can draw more than six cards uh for instance if you decide not to play a card on your turn or if you have to play a card on your turn uh or what happens if you can't play a card on your turn there's a couple questions that will be left unanswered that you will have and you'll just have to kind of, to kind of house rule but honestly this is such a light game that that is something i can overlook but still it should have been in the rules so in free parking, you are going to try to get 200 points. You'll get points by playing these cards right down here, which have points on them. You're going to be able to play these points by spending minutes on your parking meter. And everyone's going to have one of these cool looking parking meters right here, which will slide from zero to 60 minutes. But it's not going to be that easy because Officer Johnson will come and get you and take away your point cards if you're on violation, a.k.a your parking has expired. What am I talking about? Let's go over the components. So most of the components are gonna be these cards right here. We'll go over all the different cards in the game. <clears throat> So the first cards are going to be Feed the Meter. This card is just going to allow you to put time on your parking meter. Pretty simple. You play this, you'll go up to 20 minutes on your parking meter. The next one are going to be Point Cards. You play this in front of you, you're going to spend that many minutes, but you get that many points and you put this in front of you, and that add, that contributes to you hopefully getting 200 points. Next card is a Time Expires card. This is an attack card. You play it on somebody, they go from uh, wherever they are on this to zero minutes, which is bad. Why is that bad? Because there are also Officer johnson cards in here let me see if i can find one officer jones excuse me and when officer jones if someone plays an officer jones card on you and you are in the violation then you lose one of your point cards in front of you that you've already scored which is can be a big bummer there's two more special cards which are free parking and talk your way out of it talk your way out of it is essentially a get out of jail free card uh so if officer jones is coming for you you play this card and you say ah you can get out of here officer jones also this one will avoid bad second chance cards that might happen to you. And I'll talk more about the second chance cards in a minute. Free parking is different. It's going to also allow you to ignore Officer Jones for an entire round. You play this on your turn, and then until it gets back to your next turn, you don't have to worry about Officer Jones coming and hassling you. Also, free parking on your next turn is going to allow you to play any, uh, any one of these point cards without spending the minutes. So even if I was at you know 10 minutes, I could play a 20 minute card or a 60 minute card or any other card. The last cards I have are second chance cards, which you will have a chance to play at the end of your turn, and we'll go over those last. So let's just show you exactly how the game is played by playing a mock hand of it. So at the beginning of the game, you're going to start with five cards. Now the rules say draw a card, play a card is what you're going to do on your turn. There's one other option that I'll talk a little bit about later, but in actuality what they mean is draw up to six cards and then play a card. So I'll draw my six cards and you start on zero minutes. And uh, I will play this card right here. So I feed the meter, put it in the discard pile, and I go up to 20 minutes. And that's my entire turn, unless I decide to take a second chance card. So at the end of your turn, you always have the option to take a second chance card, which are wildly crazy swingy cards. They also are absolutely terrible. They feel like they're construction paper. Uh, but these, I'll just read a couple of them off to you. The player you're right loses a point card. Uh, boy, you're generous. Everyone but you moves his meter to 60. Trade places with a player of your choice. This means you literally trade places. So if they have 190 points, you can swap them, and now they have where you're sitting, and you have where they're sitting. You get their hand, you get their points, you get everything. 
Uh, you are rewarded for your speed in getting things done. If you have a point card, play it now. Just play a free point card. You're the only one, you poor slob who moves the meter to zero. You're rewarded for, oh yeah. Um, so yes, there's some diverse cards in here. Some are good, some are bad. This is always a gamble going to these cards, but they will drastically impact the game, uh, which some people are going to like, some people are going to hate. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to draw up to six cards. You're going to play a card. And then if you'd like to, you can play a second chance card. And that's all you're going to do on your turn. Now, the other option that you can do on your turn is that you can discard three of your cards, draw three new cards, and then take a second chance card if you would like. And you're going to continue to do this until someone gets 200 points, at which point they will be the winner of free parking. And that, in a nutshell, is how this simple game is played. All right, then. free parking from Parker Brothers. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for any variety of different reasons. Two to four players, er, very restricted player count, uh, which is always a little bit of a bummer. Another con that I have with this game is the rule booklet should have been better. There will be questions that you will have and you will not know what to do. For instance, what if you can't play a card? Do you just discard a card? Do you not play a card? what happens in that scenario it's not clearly explained also the discarding process is a little bit wonky there's there's a question here or there that you will have when playing this game and you just kind of have to make up your own rules for it. another con that i have in this game is the component quality of the second chance card is just so incredibly different like everything else in this game is nice the card stocks on the card is nice and this thing is super nice and, and the box is nice and the inserts nice and everything feels nice about this game and then you get to these cards and they feel like thick thick construction paper and you're like what i understand that they were trying to go with uh the the chance cards from the original monopoly game or something like that i mean they don't even have text on the back it just and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this like right now. It feels like they designed this game and they were done designing this game without these cards. And then they're like, this game needs more. And they were just like, hey, let's add these second chance cards, which are wildly, insanely swingy and can change the game on the turn of a pin. Let's just add those into the game. And they were like, well, we've already made all the games. No, 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 just, just get some construction paper, throw it into the printer. We'll print these bad boys off, throw them into the game, bada boom. Nobody will know the difference. We'll wash our hands of it. It feels like they were added to the game after the design process was done, both component-wise and gameplay-wise, how it feels when you play the game. And those cards are wildly swingy. Some people are going to like that. Some people are going to hate that. The game's short enough that I didn't hate it. But you have to know going into the game that those are going to change the game pretty much every time they do it. And if you're playing with kids, they will do them every single time, which will make the game incredibly random. So if you don't like incredibly random games, this one's not going to be for you. Uh, also, there's luck of the draw with the cards, which obviously is going to be a turnoff for some people. It's based on Monopoly, which some people just have a natural vendetta against Monopoly. And I don't think that this game is good enough to necessarily, if you hate Monopoly, change your mind about the monopoly universe or ethos i guess uh, I, I don't know and also the theme of the game is kind of weird it's just like hey we're out on the town and i need to go take my nephew to the dentist and go to the doctor and do this so i can get points like we're all competing to have the most productive days on the town while managing our parking meter yeah the theme's weird it just feels like they kind of unnecessarily slap the monopoly theme onto the game but but who cares it's an old game uh, any other comments I have for the game? No, moving on to the pros. It's, it's, it's an okay game. And the kids I played with enjoyed this game. It's definitely a family game. I don't think this is anything people are going to be playing on game night. But if your kids really like Monopoly, and if your kids like random stuff and crazy stuff, and they like Monopoly, I think this is a nice, okay to good family weight game that I think they will enjoy. Uh, the kids in my class really dug this game. They were instantly... They were instantly intrigued by this game because they knew of Monopoly and some of them had played Monopoly and some of them really enjoyed Monopoly and so they were naturally drawn to this game. Another pro that I have in this game is that most likely you're going to be able to find it at a thrift store and it's going to be dirt cheap. Also the components are nice in this game aside from those crummy second chance cards and the rule booklet which is incomplete but the, this little spinner doodad is looks really cool 
it, it looks really cool. Which, you know, obviously when you're trying to appeal to kids is a good thing. Also, the, the, the tray. I mean, this is a really nice tray, too. The cards are perfectly servable. I like the artworks on the card. There's some humor in the game as well. Uh, it's humor that's going to kind of go over the heads of kids. But it's, there's some minor humor there, like... The 60 minute one, the longest time period is going to the DMV, which I find I found kind of funny. It's got like an old man and is growing a beard. So that is, there's some subtle humor with the pictures and whatnot, which are from Monopoly. And in the end, free parking is okay. It's okay. Some people are going to think it's good. I don't think anybody's going to think it's great. I don't like the second chance cards that much. They just change the game a little bit too much for my liking. Uh... But the kids I played with really did like the second chance cards. So, hey, whatever. So that is free parking from Parker Brothers. There's a reason why you probably haven't heard of this game. And that's because it's okay. It's good. A lot of people would consider it to be mediocre. Um, this is one that I'm not going to be keeping. So there you go. That is free parking. The Parker Brothers feed the meter game based off Monopoly. If you enjoyed this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know if you could make any game but theme it to monopoly what game would that be wow um twilight imperium third edition favorite game of all time so we're gonna do it instead of uh, taking over planets you're purchasing the planets and their property and every time someone goes to your planet they actually have to pay you to go through that so there's like tariffs and taxes that they have to pay i guess that would completely change the game into a, a money game instead of a warfare game but hey why can't we why can't we just mix it all together i want twilight imperium monopoly edition not monopoly edition twilight imperium no i guess it would be it'd be monopoly edition twilight imperium not twilight imperium monopoly edition i don't want twilight imperium monopoly edition i want monopoly edition twilight imperium oh my gosh we are so deep down this rabbit hole let me know in the comments below what game do you want three themed as a monopoly spin-off game and as always thanks for your time youtube